You're doing so good today. I got you. And my dog's hungry. Okay. Dr. Paul here. Today I'm introducing to you a modality of treatment that most pediatricians aren't actually using or even maybe aware of, massage and body work. We are seeing incredible results with all sorts of conditions. So I wanted Dee Dee to have the opportunity on this channel to introduce to you body work with kids. In this particular instance, I'm gonna be in a supportive role with a young man who has a fairly severe autism. He's nonverbal, he has obviously anxiety and pain. He can bite and hit. And so he's a challenge for a, a lot of caregivers, the parents, uh, the school situation. And uh, I thought it would be an opportunity for you to see body work for a child such as the one you will be seeing. Okay. Come on in. He's here. All right. We're going to go say hi. Hey. Hi. hi. You guys made it. Yeah. You've got your weighted vest on today. Yee. That is great. Are we getting ready for our massage already? Going to get those shoes off? Get those off? shoes off like last time? Yeah. All right, I'll help you Let's here. Let's get them off. We'll get uh, you in good there. Good job. You know what to do, don't you? Okay. So, are you able to keep an eye? Yep. Okay. So last week um, when I worked on this wonderful kiddo, I was able to show you as one of the caregivers for him um, a couple different spots on the neck. We showed some releases that you can do to help him. Um, to just like to calm down. We did a bunch of different things. Was there anything that you found was helpful? Depending on the scenario, yes. The other day, we were at the house and he we were doing school with him and he went into this full tantrum mode. Took forever to get him to calm down and eventually we I was able to get him to the floor and started rubbing on his stomach and almost instantly he was like, happy and better okay. and then we and definitely had a great response with it yeah that's awesome and that's the biggest part is being able to share with the people who are in these kids lives to help them have a tool that they can they can provide you have good socks no i'm um, oops they don't match oh you know just what to do don't there you? you go yeah does okay. that warm you like that yeah i bet he'd like the heavy blanket is it okay to take off the vest yeah Try and get in there. What do you think about taking the vest off? Is that gonna be okay? Yeah? That'll be good. Then you can Holy get your cow. massage. Do you remember being up here? Okay. Oh. You, we'll just work with you wherever you are. Okay. We'll get you up to here. Oh, look. Remember when you're Did looking Did you eat here? some extra food this week? <laughs> Oops. I gotcha. Okay. Do you see me? Do you see me? There you are. There you are. I see you. Hey, this is awesome. Good job. Good job. Whatever you want to do, I'm going to work with you any way you want. Is that okay? Yeah, we'll hold hands so that Dee Dee can do some of her work. Yeah, yeah. do you remember that last time? That'd be good. You want to feel that? Oh, that's nice and warm. What do you think? Can I put that's that on your nice. back? I yeah. bet you'll like that feeling. Yeah. You want to lay down? Mm-hmm. You like that? Be aware if he turns towards me, but I'm going to try and get his neck. Okay, I've got both hands. Okay. I've got both hands. Yeah, I'm so. just concerned about his teeth. I know. Okay. My hands are tied up. Well, That's if he point. bites me, you're going to let go of oh, his hands. I will. <laughs> it's okay. We got it. Let's go forward with his arms and see if that helps a little bit. There we go. There you go. Hey. Do you have his hands? Yeah. Okay. Who <laughs> <laughs> got your hands? I got your hands. Just watch that he doesn't uh -huh. kick you. <laughs> you saw me move. <laughs> I'm actually in the neck and working on the neck. Yeah. That's fine. There you go. Good job. And then pull it off. Yeah. Hey. <clears throat> Doc's giving you some decompression work. He's a body worker now. How, how deep the compression is, it just depends how far how you push you? it in before you let it how pull up doing? on the skin. Does that feel good? That's the best part of it, isn't it? <laughs> you almost flew off of there. <laughs> I was trying to show a little red oh, mark. Okay. <laughs> it worked. 
That's that spot you normally like. It's pretty amazing, huh? Right here, right at the hairline. So right in this area where the cervical vertebrae are, just pressing gently, we're not pushing hard. I'm just right on the side there where those nerves are. So immediately how I went to push back and I hit those spots, it'll last for a few seconds and then he's going to move. So just gentle pressing, it's not hard. You probably figured that out. It was like a real quick, easy move. Um, he's he's tight and sometimes that's why they'll pull back or push forward so just holding there for a few seconds you'll know if you're holding there too long because he's gonna move on you watch out <laughs> that was my good job <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so see how if i pushed on the side uh -huh. he immediately let go of his hand yeah. we'll do some Body work, do some twisting on the spine. That feel good? Yeah. Hi. How are you? I see you. Yes, I do. That feel good, bud? put my first one on inside Yee. down, so it's good. <laughs> it's a weighted blanket. Oh, that feels good. There's a, these are you cool. i got a smile on that one, um, huh? Warm that on one side good. and cool on the other. Some that of them feel really good. hot. But it's just, it yeah. just gives that wrapped up comfortable thing. Yeah, that's a good one. <sighs> good I good. felt that tight spot. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Oil and everything? Yeah. Yeah. And by no clothes on, I mean shirts and pants to wear underwear. Hey! Somebody's playing footsies <laughs> with me, bud! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you gonna kick back? <laughs> yeah, you're having a good time. You're having a good massage. Yeah. Yeah. And what Doc's doing can be helpful, and if you'll notice, he's coming back versus pushing forward. So that really helps sometimes coming forward can kind of push that forward and cause more. So just the holding back and he's being firm, he's not going pew, pew. You're doing good. Can I get my hand under there? Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Let's let him move. Yeah. yeah! That was good, huh? That feel good? That was good. How are we doing? Wow! Yeah, I'm Sophia. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of kids on the spectrum suffer with a lot of GI complaints, so inflammation, constipation. Um, the medical term we sometimes throw around is dysbiosis, where the, the bacterial flora in the gut are just off. and. If you've ever had a bad gas pain, it's like a sharp stabbing pain and it can just hit you instantly. And when you can't process that because you're so hypersensitive, as many of these kids are, their sensation is a lot more intense, I think, than what ours would be and hence the just explosiveness. And uh, last week when we were working, we, it got that way and just Dee Dee putting her hand on the, what was it, it was left lower abdomen, wasn't it, Dee Dee? Yeah, I was focusing on where I felt the gas. That tends to be where the, the right near that descending colon going into the rectum is where you oftentimes will have problems. Just brief pressure and it totally relieved a fairly tense situation. So it's a nice thing to know that you can do as a parent or a provider is just holding that left lower side with some gentleness and some firm pressure. Are we biting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The other day when I had done it within another like hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely. Well, and it helps that peristalsis things move. I'm working his jaws a little tight. How's that feel, buddy? Okay, let's. How about we want to do the? You want to keep hanging out with me, or do you want to? 
no biting. Or would you like to put your compression vest on? Getting some work in. It's so good today. I got you. And my dog's happy. Okay. Let's get the compression vest on. Okay, we're gonna get your vest. All right, buddy. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna get this done. Watch my arm. <laughs> you, you being silly. Are you being silly? Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go. I'm there. I'm there, buddy. Nice deep breath. Man, once I'm on that spot, we're we're good until then, though. I love this hair. <laughs> what product do you use, bud? Uh, lots and lots of water. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're so strong. You're so strong. Wow. Let me work on that jaw. Yeah. That'll help that tension, then you don't have to bite, bud. I truly enjoy being able to work and do pediatric body work. It's incredible. Being able to help. being able to help a child that may not be normal or communicate the way that the average kid can, being able to reach them as soon as I I walked out this beautiful young man to hear a caregiver say that it's night and day difference, that it's something that makes their lives, knowing his life is better, it makes their life better. Um, the work is my life passion, but the biggest thing is to be able to reach these families and know they can make a difference. The younger we start, the sooner we start with them, the more that more people we can reach and share that this work is available is just really important to me. Thanks for watching today, and again, if you, if you know of anyone um, that has an autistic child or is dealing with this, please share with them. Please let them know that there's, there's pediatric body work available. She's got you. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming to see us. You did a really good job. All right, Nate. Second massage. Woo! Yeah. You're becoming a pro. <laughs> you like so chill now. Yeah, that's like, what you did last time. That's how I am when I get off like... the massage table. I'm like, <laughs> okay, this is good. <laughs> Alright, say bye, Nate. Bye. See you next time. Bye, I know sweetie. you're coming too. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Well, folks, this was the, not a traditional pediatric visit. Of course, I'm not doing a pediatric visit at all right now. I am just a coach. So, kind of different and something to think about. This, the value of body work and touch and how it's different for some people, especially those on the spectrum who tend to be very hypersensitive uh, to touch and to many things. So hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Dr. Paul. This video is for documentation, educational purposes only. I'm not practicing medicine and we just wanted to share this experience with our viewers.